Okay, so if you're watching this drawing video, it's because you're ready to start your watercolor doll. And one of the dogs that we're going to try to draw is the bulldog. We're actually going to give him a bow tie, kind of based on what this one looks like. And you can kind of see starting off, we're going to start to draw, you know, a circle for the head. There's going to be a bigger circle for the body. We're going to have some circles and stuff to kind of represent the knees and the legs. And then as you move on, kind of start with the face, giving some ears, and really start to define some of these points. So this is kind of what it's going to look like step by step based on the drawing book that I have. Here are the images, you know, a little bit more cleaned up, just kind of drawn in black and white. And then to really go back through and look at the details, and this is where they add some coloring to it. And then they also talks about the different types of bow ties and the different designs that you can put on those. So you kind of got like a circles inside of circles, give it kind of like a polka dot feel. We also have kind of like a um, checkerboard design. And then there's two different types of stripes. There's curvy stripes and there's also straight stripes. They also kind of have different types of stripes on the actual finished picture. So starting off, we're going to start with the head of the bulldog, and that's going to be more towards the top right of your paper. If you're going to add something on top of his head, like a top hat or some type of crown or something, you want to drop it down a little bit more. But because we're just doing a bow tie for this one, I can actually start to work with it right up and through here. So starting off to draw the head, I'm going to start off with just your basic circle. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Just kind of sketch it out there a little bit. We can start to darken it in as we need to when we start to finalize those lines. So about right there is a good size. And then because the bulldog is kind of a stockier type dog, he's going to have, you know, that round body to him. So we're going to draw kind of like another circle underneath it. And it's going to be bigger than that one that we just got done drawing for the head because their body is obviously bigger than their head. So here we have like this part here would be the back. This one's going to be more like their bottom and then their chest here. Moving on and adding their legs, he's going to be in kind of like a seated position. So we're going to have like this is his thigh, this is going to be his knee, it's going to start to come down and form into his paw or like his foot. We're going to start to kind of connect that back towards his back or the back part of that circle that we drew for his body. Okay, and you can even go back through and clean that line up because this leg is going to be more in the foreground. It's going to be closer to you when you go to look at the piece. So we've got his head, we've got his body, and then we've got kind of like his leg and then his foot. And then um, we'll go ahead and add the tail kind of down here. And they have like a short stubby tail. So we'll connect that and we kind of erase that little line there too kind of clean it up a little bit and then we'll come up this way and start to form the arm so with the way that he's looking you have like the chest here and then the arms going to come down and come out this way towards the front of his body so we're going to have to draw a little bit of their shoulder kind of like a diagonal line coming down give him a little bit of an elbow and his paw is going to be here in front. So kind of create like his foot or his paw. It's kind of do like a rounded shape. And then draw that back up towards his chest. Make it come that way. Then this leg is going to be in the front as well. So we can kind of go back through and erase that little line there. And then his other leg or his other arm is going to come out from this part. So we're going to start up here, kind of towards the center part of that circle we drew for the body. We're going to have this come down and around, start to create the paw, 
facing the other direction here, facing towards the inside of his body. Kind of darken that in a little bit. And then create his arm coming up. And his chest is going to be blocking a little bit of that arm. So we're going to keep this line here to create that chest wall for him. And then hidden behind here is going to be the back paw and like the leg part that we can't really see because his body's here in front. But we know we're going to have part of that. So we're just going to kind of make it so that we can see the bottom part there. Kind of make it around paw and kind of back towards his belly region there. So now we have the head shape. We've got the paws. We've got the legs and the arms of him. And now we're going to come up here and start focusing on the face. So kind of a good thing to help you whether you're drawing people or drawing dogs to kind of keep things symmetrical and keeping one side to look like the other. You can lightly draw kind of like a cross shape in the middle of that circle. And that's going to help you keep things even, keep them balanced, which is what we want. It's going to help keep things symmetrical. We're going to draw that lightly because we're going to end up erasing that closer towards the end. Now to create his face, we can start to create kind of like an upside down kind of rounded triangle for the nose. And it's going to be in the center of his face. So it's going to be in the center of that cross shape that we just drew. And you can kind of go back in and, you know, add some little nostril holes. So some little half circles on the sides of that. And then kind of like on the corner here of that triangle piece, we're going to do some eyes. That way you can see. I'm going to do one circle there. I'm going to do another circle here. And then go back in, add another circle in there, giving like that pupil or that black part of his eye. And then even go back in and add the little circle highlight. Now, because you're doing these in watercolor and you're going to learn about some techniques to do with this, if you want to keep those highlights white, which is always a good thing to kind of do, you can also go back in with the crayon resist, take the white crayon and color in those parts that you want to keep white. And then that way, it doesn't matter how much watercolor you try to put over, that wax in the crayon is going to keep those white. So that's just kind of like a helpful tip when you start to paint these with the watercolor paint. Continuing on with the face to kind of create like the jowls and like the cheeks. We're going to start to come down from the center of the nose. We're going to start to work our way down. So this line is going to come down and around and kind of come back up into a smile shape. So we're going to make this come down. Loop it back around. And it's going to make him start to look like he's smiling. And kind of add a little smile line there at the end as well. We're going to do the same type of line just on the other side. So starting there from the middle, take it down and around and up towards that center line of that cross that we originally drew. So it's going to go up towards that angle almost. And draw another kind of smile line here. And then draw like a U shape giving him like a, a mouth or a tongue to make it look more like a tongue by creating another curved line there and then giving him that little halfway line, kind of like a crease in his tongue. And then since the bulldog's kind of like a fat type of dog, we're going to give him some fat rolls. So he's going to have almost like a triple chin. So there's kind of one part of the chin. Here's another part. I'm going to keep trying to line it up with that center cross that we drew there and then here is kind of like a third chin so he's a little pudgy it's okay it's just the type of breed of dog that he is and then you can kind of go back in and add kind of look like freckles almost a couple dots here and then to give him a little more character you can go back in and kind of add some wrinkles in the face so it can start by 
the edge of the nose, and then we're going to start to work our way up, almost like you're creating eyebrows for him. These are just wrinkles that most of these types of dogs have. Do one on this side, then do one on the right side. Start to form that. You can start to draw just a couple more wrinkles on up into his forehead. Depending on how, you know, scrunched up you want him to look. So there he's got some wrinkles. And then one of the other things we need to draw to make him look more like a dog are his ears. So again, we're working with that kind of cross shape in his face. We're going to be drawing his ears up here, kind of like towards the center of those crosses. So to kind of draw the ears, you can start to draw them out at an angle, kind of make them form down a little bit. It's almost like a leaf shape because they got those kind of small, but they're still droopy ears, kind of like that. They start to look a little bit too much like rabbit ears. You can just kind of thicken them out, make them a little fatter. That should help take care of that. The more narrow you make them, the more it's going to kind of look like a rabbit. So we've got one on this side, and then we're also going to work on doing one on this side. So drawing that line kind of at an angle, making it come out towards the corner, towards the top of the page. Start to direct that line down, kind of like at an angle or like a leaf shape. Give them that little bit of a droopy look, and then kind of connect it to the head. So then we've got the ears. And you can kind of add a little bit more of a wrinkle line here. Give a little bit more of a cheek look. And then because they are, you know, type of a bigger dog, we're going to give him some, some neck rolls too. So starting here where the face circle meets the body circle here, I'm going to kind of go back in and give him some neck rolls. It looks like some more wrinkles kind of coming down. And start with one kind of bigger one and then put a little bit smaller one beside it but it doesn't have to go as far down as the other one did i'm going to kind of go back through and kind of darken up my lines here the lines that i want to keep that way you can kind of seem a little bit better making a little bit darker kind of go back over that belly line there and that's kind of like the basic shape of the bulldog. Now, to making the bulldog with the bow tie, you got to start to work on the bow tie. So bow ties on humans are usually about right in through here, about where the neck will go. And you can start it by about in the middle of his chest, so about right in through here. We're going to start by drawing a circle. And that's going to be the center of his bow tie. And then to kind of do the sides of the bow tie, you can make it come out like in a triangle shape. Kind of like another rounded triangle shape here. And go back through and erase this one because the bow tie is going to be in front. Then we're going to make the other side of the bow tie that same shape, that kind of rounded triangle look and that's going to come back towards that circle part so that one's kind of like a clip-on bow tie but to make him look like he's actually wearing it and it's wrapping around his neck the way it's supposed to you can just kind of draw a line that goes around that same shape of that fat rule that we drew and it's going to be like the band that fits for the bow tie and there's all different types of designs you can do with the bow tie. You could do um, polka dots, you could do stripes, you can just do a solid collar. Any of those are, you know, choices that you can do. Just make sure that whatever you decide to do for the bow tie itself, that you also do it for the band. So if I decide that I'm going to do stripes, okay, maybe I want some curved stripes in my bow tie and I'm going to try to do that 
all the way through my bow tie. So once I get my stripes done on the bow tie, I also need to do that for the band. So kind of draw the same type of curved lines to create those stripes all the way up into the band that wraps around the bulldog's neck. So then we start to have it following that pattern on that fabric all the way up. So then we've got our bulldog, we've got his face, we've got his arms, we've got his back legs, we've got his tail, the ears, and then we just started to add a bow tie to him. So there is your bulldog and a bow tie. You can go back in, kind of add different features to him as well. So like if you want him to be kind of different colors or whatever, maybe he's got a patch around his eye, you can actually start to go back in and draw that because we're working with watercolor to color these in you don't want to color that in as a patch you just want to kind of draw it as a shape and then when you go to do your watercolor over top of it then you can make it you know whatever color you want it for that and then maybe i want to go back in and kind of add some other colored patches on him as well so maybe i want to add a patch here you don't have to add those patches to them but Kind of gives him a little more character. Maybe I want one here on his leg as well. So those are just other little details that you can do, kind of making more of your own type of dog. Kind of make it a little bit different from mine. And there is your bulldog with bow tie.